on this episode of Code Two Zero. We're going to be pulling up here in a second at a shooting with multiple victims. It was a rollover traffic collision. It has now been upgraded to a physical rescue. This is a this is a serious uh, serious number of shootings, even for LA. Okay, we're uh, just going to be pulling up here in a second at a uh, shooting with multiple victims. Again, it's an ambulance shooting, is what we call it, because an ambulance is attached on the shooting call. That's what that uh, that's what that means. We're just getting into the Athens area. This is going to be at the intersection of Imperial uh, Highway and Normandy. There's a report of two victims. The initial report was for one victim shot, and now there's reports of two victims. Sorry, let me turn the radios down. Sorry about that. Um, there was original reports of one victim shot. Uh, I believe while resources were en route, there was a upgrade to the call. Um, that there was possibly oh that's not good got armed with a rifle in a parking lot um the call originally came out with a again like i said a report of one victim there is apparently a news chopper it looks like overhead i think that's a news helicopter i'm not 100 percent sure um they're kind of in an interesting spot filming over here too with the helicopters because this is the approach for LAX. Um, that does appear to be a news chopper. It's holding pretty steady. But yeah, this is, uh, they're very much on the approach to LAX. So they have to be very careful. Um, they have to be very careful with exactly where they're flying. There are flight restrictions here due to that. And not to mention there's also an airport uh, just to the south of us here where all the SpaceX equipment is stored. That's the Hawthorne Airport. So we have LAX approach and the Hawthorne approach. So they're, they're definitely talking to the air traffic controllers, making sure that they're in a, a safe spot where they can do their job. It is early in the night. It's approximately 10 p.m. This call came out at 9.52. So we're a little behind the ball. I'm not sure if we're going to get transport on this, but either way, we still need to do our due diligence and respond and see what's going on. But uh, we're catching every single red. <laughs> That's okay. Um, we're still going to we're still going to continue through and uh, and take a look at what's going on. Even if we just have B-roll, even if it's just a static scene, that's that's okay as far as I'm concerned because um, we're still we're still telling that story. We're still getting that information out there, and that's our job. So we'll be uh, we'll be there once we get the green. It'll be the next intersection. Okay. 27, copy. Well, oh, it's behind us. <laughs> Wrong direction. That's weird because the address came, was to the north, but. That's fine. It looks like fire might have cleared already, um, but that's okay. We still, like I said, we still can, uh, still can do our job.
like it's going to be a uh, car shooting with a, you can see a vehicle with the door open. Probably not going to get too much. Oh, hi! What are you guys doing? What's going on? Hello. <laughs> hi. Look at all the. Hi, hi, buddy. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Hi. Come here. What are you doing? What? Hi. Hi. Are you guys just wandering around? <laughs> Hello. My goodness, look at it. It's like a wild pack of adorable dogs. How random. I thought somebody was out walking their dog and they were coming up and they're just... They got their little, they got their little uh, wolf pack going on. Crazy. Okay. Uh, again, we're probably not going to get too much... We're probably not going to get too much information from the sheriffs. We never do. Out in the field. Their, uh, their media relation people are nice, but uh, everything else is... Cute. They were very cute, actually. It's always good to see the, the fur babies. Yeah, the white one was cool. Oh, oh, let me get this shot here. Presumably the shooting occurred in the, uh, in the vehicle here, or at the vehicle. Let's see who that is. is NBC. All right, and there's a, is he a crime scene photo guy or is he a local, uh, he might be a local, uh, local press photographer. I'm not 100% sure. Too. You see that? Can't really see much on the car. There's some debris out in the roadway. We're gonna try and get a better angle on it, but there's, I don't see any uh, obvious bullet holes or anything like that. Alrighty. What kind of you guys radios? 
Hi, sir. How's it going? All right, right. What can we guys radio? I'm sorry, what's the question? What can we guys radio on this one? Because we got vague on our roof. Not too far, but we got vague. Are you asking what the what the information is that we have? Oh, uh, the only thing we heard was that two people were, uh, were shot. Um, there was reports of one person shot initially, and then once fire got here, they asked for a second ambulance. That's all I. That's all I know. Anybody deceased on the area? What's that? Anybody deceased or anything? No, I. I we got here. Uh, well, just I guess when we got here about five minutes ago, not even. And I FD wasn't even here, so. Probably transported. Yes, I would assume so. That or pronounced, but I don't see any sheets on the car. I don't see any. Uh, usually they set up the tent and everything, so. Right. That's pretty much it, but it's always hard to get info out of the sheriffs, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. As you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna call the PR person and see if they Alrighty, good luck. Okay, so the gentleman, I, I believe, is a, a press photographer. Uh, we have another, we have another news chopper coming in. Again, it is early in the night. The earlier it is, the more news helicopters we get. Oh no, I think it's the same. I think that's NBC again. Yeah. Yeah. Same helicopter coming back. Not much info on this. Uh, again, the sheriffs do not give us info at the scenes. The, they're just to reiterate their, their PIO office and the people that work there are really, really great uh, to us. They give us tons of information during the day, but at night, for some reason, there's, there's a disconnect there on communication. And I, I think a lot of them are just afraid to give out the wrong info, they don't want to get in trouble, so I can't can't knock them too much for that. But uh, let's see what else is going on. If the guys have any more info, but as of right now, I know that we had two victims on this. We have our vehicle, possibly a victim's vehicle, could be a suspect's vehicle. Who knows? We we have no idea right now. So once uh, we're going to turn this in with a lot of unknowns, and then again, it'll get it'll get polished up in the morning. So that's where we're at. Did you see that? Dude, it's all set up. <laughs> <laughs> like it's own party bus. It's got underglow. <laughs> That's incredible, actually. All right, just to recap, I'm hearing mixed things. The uh, photographer that was here uh, from the unknown publication called NBC, got some information that they were saying that nobody was shot. I think that's right. He was saying no one was shot. County, if they did respond, they cleared pretty quickly. They could have been self-transported. There's a lot of options here. I didn't hear the crime broadcast. Again, we're a little behind the ball. This happened earlier, uh, just before we got out. So we're, we're kind of on the backside of it. Um, with that being said, again, we do turn this over and our editor will call and follow up with the PIO from the sheriff's department. So we'll have a complete story regardless. Again, a lot of times when we're out here, we get the visuals. We, we know that there's an incident that occurred. We know there was a shooting, right? So we have the preliminary information, one part, one component of that total story. And once those two pieces are put together, then you have obviously the whole uh, perspective. And that's something that we're uh, missing <laughs> as of right now. Um, if you want the entire perspective, as always, keynews.tv under publications, you can find the rest of the story. But for right now, for us, as far as this goes, we're gonna be out of here and on to the next one. Okay, we're just clearing off of that shooting over here. We happen to be in the right spot for a structure fire that was just dispatched at 104700, or sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, let me do that again. Uh, all right, we're down the street. Uh, we're just clearing the shooting here uh, in Normandy, in the area of Normandy and Imperial. We've got a reported structure fire at 104, uh, 10400 block of South Hoover. It's about a half a mile that way. We're gonna be, trying to get through the traffic here, if this person would kindly scoochy. All right, there should be, I don't know if you see anything, but we're, we're like Johnny on the spot for this one. We are about a half mile. You can hear units are requesting. I do smell something. I do smell, um, 
might have been rubbish back there. Okay. If this is a fire, we're here, but as you guys know, most times, more often than not, it's food on the stove or something, something fairly, uh, fairly lame, for lack of a better term. I don't see, I don't see smoke and we don't have high winds right now, but again, this is very early in the disp, oh, hang on. Did you see that? Might have a little something coming up there. Might have a little something. Gosh, they're fast. I thought we were going to beat them. I was convinced. And that just goes to show we're not even, I mean, geez, the call we were just at, what, a mile? And we were about, we were just about to get on the freeway. We're about a half mile away. And look at this. We got the whole cavalry here in front of us. And we are now behind uh, city fire responding in. So again, when you see us showing up on uh, on fire calls, you have to realize like that's how fast these guys are. They're I, I don't know how they do it. They they jump down the pole, right? They're sliding down the pole, and they have their their pants ready to go at the bottom, and they just fly <laughs> just fly into the truck. No, there's seriously they're they're stupid fast. So unless you're really close, uh, like we are, like if this is a working fire, we'll be in a good. Uh, We'll be in a good position for that. It doesn't look like it is from where we are here, but again, we're gonna wait for the actual size up, but you have to be so freaking close. Five thirty six. can you help me out with the, with the size up here? Uh, I'm in a dead zone. Nothing showing, alrighty. Not a fire, not a fire. Again, if that was going, we'd be here as they're laying in those first lines and you'd see how quickly, and we've seen that on coaches here. We've been, uh, we've been arriving with the first in plenty of times and you see how fast these guys. 536, my apologies, I copy 45. David's gonna be back, 1079 uh, South Hoover, nothing showing. You can see how fast, and we've seen it time and time again, how quickly. You'll see how quickly these guys, once that hose is down, they get that first uh, that first attack line in place, it's water on, and they're going after it. So unless you're really, really, really close, you're, or it's a bigger fire, it's going to be very, it's going to be very difficult to get, to get into position to get uh, footage that quickly. Actually, let's go down to 1 11th. Now we can hear the radio here. Oh, light smoke. That's fine. That's fine, they'll figure it out. It's gonna be It's gonna be an outlet, electrical, or food on, there he said, food on the stove. He beat me to it. Alrighty. What could have been, thankfully for those good people, was not, which is a good thing. And cool, we're gonna be clearing. I think we've got, oh, we got another call. Let's see. North Hollywood, not us. All right, we're, <laughs> we're gonna leave it at that for a second. I still need to get this story in. We're still waiting on information uh, from the LA County Sheriff's Department. We do not have, we do not have any, any information on that shooting. There's fire size up, the final size up on that. They're gonna handle with the task force and they're gonna cancel everybody and they're, oh, they're hanging onto the tack for a little bit, okay. Food on the stove, there we go. Um, again, that shooting that we had on Normandy and Laurel, not a ton of, uh, not a ton of information on that and we are waiting on a callback. We are waiting on a callback from the uh, from the Sheriff's Department. So we should be getting some more information on that. If we get it tonight uh, before End of Watch, obviously we'll bring it up, but more often than not, it ends up going to the editor and then the editor takes it from there, takes the footage, combines it and does the final story. But for right now, on this cold, foggy night in LA, we will be on to the next one. Thank you. 
vehicle, white Toyota four door, round four, last seen unknown direction, suspect male is nine, 27 to 28 years old. White shirt, black shorts, tattoo on the neck, pepper spray, victim, uh, not the guy. Sonic, black jacket, blue pants. Traditional Not the, the guy. RD There's we, we've had a rash of armed robberies tonight. I'm, I'm listening for a specific group of suspects. It's two guys who are going around and uh, with a gun and robbing people. So not cool. Um, we are heading to. Gotta spin the wheel here. Uh, we're, we're heading to a physical rescue. It was a rollover traffic collision. It has now been upgraded to a physical rescue with a reported person's trapped. They've attached. And they're canceling the physical rescue, but they're keeping the, the life force coming. I copy, they're canceling the physical rescue assignment, and the life force is coming. It's going to be right here to the right. I don't know if the other buildings in the line. We're going to check it out either way, um, just because we were close. But it's just a, as of right now, it's just a rollover. They did cancel, they did cancel Heavy Rescue 3 and all of the, all of the big stuff out of downtown that's all been canceled. Um, but again, we're going to, we're just going to continue through and see, what are these guys doing? What are you guys doing? They're digging in the street. Did you see that? They had the whole concrete pulled out. Yeah. Did you see that? Yep. What the heck? Oh. All right, 455 is code six with a rollover and a hydrant. I'll be out of the vehicle. All right. Not a huge deal, but still, still kind of cool. What are you doing? What you doing there, buddy? All righty. Cool. Took out a hydrant. Took out a hydrant. Alrighty. Ah, uh, the smell of the smell of uh, city water in the morning. They took out quite a bit of stuff, huh? Ugh. It's not a big one, though. The little... It's a little hydrant. Tiny guy. What kind of, I would say, what'd you say, Tay? Medium? Yeah. Medium hydrant? Not little, little, but not, you know, not insanity. All right, let's go see if we can cross here. Oh no, we can, no, we, we're okay. We're not gonna go in the water. to go for a swim. <laughs> I mean, the, the paramedics are coming this way. We'll, we'll jump out of the way if they come. Okay. I just don't want to get, I don't want to get drenched. You can stay there, I'm gonna go through.
really see fire showing up clearly. We've got a, a vehicle on its side right behind me here. Driver was uh, momentarily trapped. They had to get him out of the vehicle. They got him out, transported. He didn't look in too good a shape. When you see stuff like this where someone's driving down and just plows through a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of stuff on the sidewalk and, and takes out a hydrant, usually alcohol is a factor. In a lot of cases, you also have times where it's a, a medical situation. Somebody could be suffering from uh, diabetic shock or, or something like that. So we, we never really, we try not to assume too much. We wait for LAPD to give us an official cause uh, for the crash, whatever it may be. We try not to speculate, but in, usually in cases like this, it's alcohol is a factor. Uh, vehicle on its side through the hydrant. Again, a medium sized hydrant. City got that out uh, fairly quickly. Uh, shut down uh, the flow to the hydrant, of course. And we have this huge river going down Figueroa, just uh, probably about two or three city blocks. And now, uh, now it's cleanup time. They're gonna wait for OPG tow. Once, uh, once tow comes out, they're gonna flip this car back over, get it on a flatbed and get it up off the sidewalk. Again, they have to come out. City services have to deal with all of the debris. They gotta hook up all the electrical, anything that's been damaged because of this crash. And they're gonna be out here for, for a little while uh, cleaning this up. But again, uh, incredible work by the fire department as always. And, and not, not a huge physical rescue at this point. Um, it did get upgraded because the gentleman was still inside the vehicle. Um, but once they, uh, once they realized that, hey, it's just a, basically a door pop, you know, just getting him out, uh, not trapped in the vehicle, that's when they downgraded all those resources. That's where we're at, that's what we got. We are, we are out of here, on to the next one. Okay, we're heading over to uh, what sounds like a shooting in progress with a victim down with CPR in progress as well. They're doing CPR on the victim. It sounds like it might be a swatting. It, it's a little weird how the information is coming in. We're heading into LAPD's Topanga division. It's a little foggy out too. I'm not sure if it's too foggy for the airships. Um, we did see one earlier at a higher altitude. We've got like this weird low fog layer. But yeah, we're heading up the 101 northbound. We're gonna be exiting at, I think actually at Topanga, let's see. No, we can probably get off at Canoga. It's a nice area, it's a nice part of town. It's... We'll try another call back, we'll try another call back. It sounds like it might be a swatting call because, you know, well, I'll tell you why. Firstly, it comes out as an ambulance shooting, so we have a victim down on a shooting. Well, reportedly. All right, 408, contact. We have reports of a victim down. That Roger, verified 21843 is making contact. Oh, okay, I'm making contact with somebody. 21843 is up, 98 case, 97, that's making contact right now. So we have reports of one victim down. We have uh, reports that the suspect is still armed. Officers were telling dispatch to tell the suspect to put the weapon down and to come out which is probably a good idea to not be armed when you uh, come out and talk to the cops. Um, FD is staging, and it's just weird because now the suspect was then saying they want to kill themselves and all this. I I'm not... I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% on it just because it seems a little bit... A little bit too crazy for the area and the time. But again, we do have to check it out. We weren't super far away. We were just finishing up a GTA call over in Studio City uh, with a Lyft driver um, who ended up getting GTA'd. But we're now here. We're in the area. We're about to. Uh, we're about a block away. But it, but again, when you have someone who's on the line with 911 saying they want to. Uh, they want to end themselves and all this and you can see fire staging up here. Usually when you have something that's that blatant um, normally it's a Normally it's a swatting type call. I haven't had too many recently uh, But they do they do occur on a regular basis We'll see here in a second. Uh, it does sound like PD was making contact with a 
with a uh, possible suspect or a victim. It looks like we have a bunch of condos over here. Oh, great. Okay, where... <laughs> five, seven, uh, 5760. Oh, there goes... Okay, there goes LAPD. Let's see, we're, we're in a weird spot here. I don't know... I'm code 6 7 one Alrighty, I don't know if we'll be able to actually get in here. I think it might be a gated... It looks like it's a gated community slash condo kind of situation, which is fine. 73, um, be advised, SB is staged. Um, so if the officers will let us know when uh, they're ready for them, if needed. I don't think we're going to be able to get... Oh, no, it's, well... Roger, if the staging advisor is cleared to enter. It's open, kinda. They have not cleared them to enter, but here comes fire. They're clearly listening on PD's channel. They're rolling up. Let's see where they end up going. The officers are right there at the entrance. Um, it's gonna be a little difficult to figure out exactly where this is. For LAPD, WTA, if it's clear for us to enter. Okay, maybe they're not listening then. Hey, anyone stand by. Let's go, uh, let's do this. Let's go across this intersection here, this kind of almost T intersection. And we'll keep an eye from here. Um, again, it's in a... Uh, not, it had a gated community vibe, but it's not quite a gated community. It's right there in front of us, you can see now, a little bit better. I'm not sure. They haven't said that they've located a victim yet. They were doing a callback. They were doing a callback to the reporting party, and they were going to find out where this actually occurred. Code for four one eight zero one two high on the street. Code for what? Are you writing code for only? Repeat. Yeah. What? When it's in code for no evidence of shooting. Also uh, showing code. I was right. Code for four five seven six zero on South Avenue. Possible swatting call. Really, uh, really dangerous stuff. Repeat. Really, really dangerous when people do that. Um, we, we've talked about it. We've talked about it a few times here on Code Two Zero, but people doing that really, really dangerous. It can it can lead to all sorts of problems, not just for the responding officers, but the people who live at these locations. To do a to do something like that, it's extremely immature and incredibly dangerous. Um, and if you get caught doing it, the, the penalties for doing that are very, very serious. I would, uh, I would not recommend, but ended up being a swatting, no evidence of shooting, code four. We're gonna be clearing out of Woodland Hills, which again, we had to drive all the way out here for that too, which is stupid, but um, again, we have to check and make sure that's part of the job. We'll be clearing out of Woodland Hills and onto the next one. Oh. A traffic stop for going in Venice under the underpass. Ah, this, they're stopping. All right. Alrighty, well, we can roll by and take a look. We had a, uh, we had a pursuit. Well, it was a following. Yeah, you got a unit there. You guys are being good after this car. It was a following of a, uh, I think it's a Code 37 it's stolen, yeah. stolen vehicle. Yeah, it was heading toward us and then they, uh, they ended up stopping. We were waiting to see. We were waiting to see if they were gonna take off, but 
They did not. They decided to okay. do the right thing and stop. And I think there's a. It's gonna be and I think there's an alleyway here. We might be able to get. Yeah, we might be able to get a view on this. I think. I think. I think. I don't want to go. If we go over there, we won't be able to go southbound. And I think there is a way this person would kindly go. If this gate is open, we can go in here. Ah, this is where that tent fire was the other day. And let's see if we can. If we can get a look, a little look, see. Air can for one X twenty three, yeah. Yeah, it's a code 30, so. Oh. Driver. Oh, he's mad. Driver's out of the car. That's right. Out of the vehicle for going 17. She's not complying. Stay in the car.
37. Uh, do we have? Can you give me the location for the shooting, please? All right, it's a stolen vehicle. Uh, tow truck guy was saying she was driving. All right, they're staging at Fire Station 38. Um, I will let me uh, let me locate that. Stand by. Fire Station. Fire Station 38 is where they're staging. Good thing we heard that. Did you hear an address by any chance today or no? No. One Oh, it's way down there. Oh, it's in the harbor. No wonder I, I'm like, I don't know that station. Four, uh, four nine nine four fifty five. It's in the, it's in the harbor. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to monitor that, and then if they ask for a canopy or a crime scene, I'll head down there. Okay, so just a stolen vehicle, not something we would feed, more for you guys to see a felony stop, honestly. Um, Duran was there, got to say hi. It's a... TC generated in the area the past hour with the same vehicle that we stopped. Yeah, just a... Thanks, 23, stand by. Just a... Just a felony stop on a uh, stolen or possibly stolen. I mean, it's registered stolen, I guess, so it's not possible. It's actually stolen. Uh, stolen vehicle, female, not really listening to commands. You could see she was going up and down, and she turned around at one point and actually re uh, reached for her waistband. I was like, holy cow, um, which that could have gone in a completely different direction. Oh, and we have CHP stopping someone behind us. Um, so yeah, that could have gone in a completely different direction. Luckily, the officers cleared the vehicle, saw that there was saw that there was an issue with her, and they were able to um, they were able to oh boy, they were able to. Uh, sorry, I'm trying <laughs> trying to explain what's going on, and we got all sorts of stuff going on here. Give me that direction uh, direction of travel and what freeway they're on. Four twenty three. One more time. Um, so yeah, they, they handled it really well. I was wondering if it was going to be... 105 at the 110 and they're on the white. CHP South LA is about to take primary. They're still... Uh, South LA is trying to confirm if they're armed, but it is a good 459. Okay, copy that. I'll, I'll, head for, uh, I'll head for that one, and then I'll keep an ear on the harbor. If they ask for a canopy, I will head down there. Uh, but I will not go until 536 clears on his shooting in Hollywood. Okay, we got a lot going on, so let's kind of bring bring everything full circle here. Felony stop, stolen vehicle. Whether she knew it was stolen or not, I, I don't know. She seemed really out of it. The tow truck guy said she was driving terribly and was going to crash into other cars. Um, it is what it is. Gabriel is actually up in Hollywood on a shooting. The story is not published yet, so I don't know what his title is. Um... He is currently there. He's got one victim, unconscious, not breathing. I think it was in a vehicle, and that's going to be up. That's going to be up at, let's see. That's going to be at Yucca and LaBeige Le, Le Le, Le Le Avenue. That's in the area of, like, Carlos and Gower. Um, Alex, I don't know the title of his story tonight, but while I'm getting this pursuit figured out, if we could jump over to Hollywood, give me a second to... Uh, to figure this out, and uh, and we'll come back here. But let's let's go over to Hollywood and let's take a look at Gabe's uh, shooting in Hollywood, which I think I think is a homicide at this point. So that's Gabe's scene. I don't have a lot of detail. Oh wow, the ramp is now closed here, so we're gonna have to go in a different. Uh, we're gonna have to go up and flip around. But um, I don't have a lot of information on it. That incident just 
just happened. Gabe just got there. We'll have more information on that shortly. We'll actually probably meet up with him at some point and have him run through what he's got in Hollywood. But anytime there's a homicide in Hollywood, that's that's obviously going to be at the top of the list as far as uh, interest. That's going to be very interesting for for our clients and uh, and the news cycle in general. That's that's going to be a, a higher a higher threshold on a story like that. And again, like I said, I don't want to pull ourselves up. Well, like I was saying on the radio, I don't want to pull ourselves completely out of L.A. and go for the scene that, again, we wouldn't get transport in the harbor anyways. The harbor is pretty far to get down to. I don't mind going down there. I just want to make sure all our bases are covered and we actually do have a crime scene. That's going to require a little bit of radio research. And then, again, we have a pursuit heading our way, too. So there's quite a bit uh, going on trying to juggle everything you guys can see it gets a little bit hectic um but i'm gonna wait until that Bring pursuit i'm gonna wait until that pursuit Grand comes up on the uh channel on and then we do have fire station we know that 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 shooting in the harbor is near fire station 34 i believe so we have the location on it we just don't know if it's an actual crime scene yet because there are times as you guys see obviously that there's there's calls that come out and we don't ever really hear anything else about it we're going to head further southbound just so our radios can pick up what we need to hear. Once Gabe clears, then we'll, we'll pick it up from there. All right, I'm trying to get my damn audio thing going. There we go. All right. It sounds like our... So this pursuit came out of Anaheim. It's an armed and dangerous suspect. You can see the airship is overhead right now at uh, Normandy. I don't think Normandy goes over the freeway. I, uh, I'm not 100% if it does. We're gonna go over here and jump off and see if we can get a shot. Actually, this crossing right here, we need to get there. We should've got off of it, Imperial. Yeah, Nor Normandy, okay. That's crazy, we were just down here. Let's get, uh, let's see what we can do with this. If I can get us in position to, to get eyes on it. They're, they're holding right there. Let's see if we can jump off. We're gonna jump off at Crenshaw. I'll ask down here and see what we can do. But uh, pursuit out of Anaheim, armed and dangerous suspects, taking him into custody. Well, attempting to take him into custody. Right now they're stopped on the eastbound 105 at Normandy just before the 110. They're asking if units need a break from West LA, which is units toward the airport. I don't know if we'll be able to jump off. Okay, they're calling They're calling for code 4. All right, they're calling for code 4. I'm dropping off here at Crenshaw. Um, their next exit is Vermont, I believe, and they didn't ask for a break. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to follow him off unless uh, unless you guys think we need it. I'm going to let it go. So let me know what you guys want to do with it. I, yeah, I think we're going to let it go. We'll see what uh, we'll see what they say. But we don't have we don't have passing. We don't have um, we really don't have much to tell that story. I'm not going to waste uh, I'm not going to waste our time. On that. Yeah, I'm not getting hello. 423, 499, what do you think? Uh, they're gonna probably take him off at, uh, at Vermont. Actually, yeah, vehicle clear, driver detained. And they're opening, uh, they're opening the freeway. Um, you guys think I should go over to Vermont and shoot the car? I mean, what do you guys, what do you guys think? Yeah, exactly. That, that's funny, because that's pretty much what we said. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Okay, copy. I literally just uh, <laughs> I was just telling Code Two Zero uh, the same thing. Okay, cool. We'll let it go. And 455 David's going to be clearing uh, from the 105 in Crenshaw, and then they're about to release the brake. So I will uh, I'll be released with traffic back in route. Uh, to cover for 536 till he's clear off of his Hollywood shoot. Yeah, Gabe's still at the shooting in Hollywood, dealing with... We're going to be code 6 in the area. 609, Roger. Please. Roger, go 
So yeah, pursuit all the way from Anaheim up to the 105 and, well, basically Normandy. You'll see the suspect vehicle uh, right there, the truck, and that's it. We're out of there. On to the next one. No information on that shooting. I, The guys heard it as an ambulance shooting. I don't think it was. There's been no uh, no crime scene establishment, no, no calls for any additional resources. Sources, nothing. Um, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna let that one go. As we head down the 105 here, we're gonna actually go through my favorite view in the city, which is oh, which is closed, which means we have to go all the way across. Oh my goodness! Holy cow! That is not good. They should not have. Uh, <laughs> there should have been signs for that. <laughs> Holy crap! Um, well, we don't get to see it. Oh well. We have footage from it in other episodes, and it's foggy tonight anyways, you can't really see, but on a clear night, this is the best view, one of the best views of downtown LA from South, South LA. Alrighty, look how high this is too. Gosh, we are way up there, look at that. Oof, every time we go up here, I'm like, oh man, so high up. And then we've got, looks like Caltrans over here with something. Is that a construction zone or are they blocking for something? Oh, it's construction. <sighs> All right, we'll be on to the next one. Bing. Audio's up. We have a shooting, possible shooting victim here at the uh, at the Tommy's on Roscoe. Ah, shit. Yes. Were you here? Oh, I was like, holy crap, I hope, <laughs> hope you're okay. They had that at different locations, so I was there first. 147, yeah, they went down further. Have you, have you looked to see if he's actually hit?
50s just rolling up. Gabe's actually primary on this one. We're just supporting. Um, we had an initial call of the shooting down at 147. It was on the other side of Roscoe Boulevard. They were off by one number early in the address, which put it completely on the other side of the 405. Um, looks like they're setting up tape here. And we do have one, uh, looks like we do have one victim of a gunshot wound, but I don't, I'm not seeing. Uh, not seeing anything obvious as of right now. This is number, what is this, number four? Again, this came out as a shooting, different location. They corrected the location here to the Tommies. Um, I'm just not seeing, you know what? Let's take a look in the, let's see if we can get over here a little bit. I wanna get a better look at this car. I'm not, Gabe's getting transport right now. Um, I'm just not seeing the usual the bullet holes and all that. I'm, I'm just not, I'm not seeing that in the car. This is creepy, huh? Is this creepy or what? Yeah. He might have had his windows down. That's always a possibility. Um, I... I'm just not seeing. I'm just not seeing the usual telltale signs of a car uh, walk up or a car shooting. Um, this would be shooting number three tonight with a total of, oh, sorry, four. You're right. You're right. Because we had the we started the night with our car shooting, so that was that was our first shooting with two victims. Which there's still more information coming on that one. Oh, hang on. So our first shooting started with the two victims, with that car that we saw on Laurel and Normandy. I can't even keep track. I'd have to look at my, my system. We had our second shooting, which was, where was the second one? I can't even remember at this point. It's like, it's it's all a blur now. Second one I think was Gabe's in Hollywood. That's a fatal shooting in Hollywood. Another guy in a car shot. Keith had the three, that's right. Keith had the three victims. Hang on. Keith had the three victims at the 7-Eleven, one critical, two minor. Gabe had another one. No, that, that ended up being no evidence of shooting. And now we have, this one. And it's only a Thursday night. 
I mean, that's uh, that's like a war zone at this point, right? I mean. I wonder if they're related. I know it was a guy in a red Mustang. That was uh, one of the suspect descriptions. So we'll see. We'll see if any of these are related. But even for us, this is a this is a serious uh, serious number of shootings. Even for LA.